Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. I wanted to do an update on my... Oh, it's not even the right hand. Okay, it's been a long day, clearly. I just want to do an update on my hand tattoo, a little bit about the healing process and kind of what it was like for me because I had a pretty easy time and I just thought I would share the healing method that I used and kind of show pictures of it while it was healing, the flaking stage, all that fun stuff, just so you can get an idea of what it's gonna be like if you are looking to get a hand tattoo. I do have a video already up on my channel talking about actually getting the tattoo. I did a vlog going to get it, um, and I explained that it actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be terrible, um, and I think I got myself so anxious and worked up about it that once I actually got the piece, it wasn't nearly as bad as I made it out to be. So I guess my only recommendation if you're getting a hand tattoo is to expect the worst because then it might not be as bad as you might think it is. But again, everybody has different pain thresholds, so it might be really bad for you either way. In that case, I would just talk to your artist and maybe see if there's a possibility of you using any type of numbing agent. I didn't have to use any numbing cream, but I did take some CBD gummies beforehand. I think that might have helped a little bit. Um, I haven't really tested that theory since, but I definitely will in the future and see if that helps, but I think that helped. I also just think it was from me getting myself so worked up, so anxious, so stressed out about getting this piece that once I actually got it, it wasn't even as bad as my brain made it up to be. So that's my advice for actually getting it. I also mentioned at the end of my vlog that I was going to put a second skin on it. Um, the one that I use is Recovery Derm. I had a couple from my tattoo artist who is doing my back. Um, he gave me a couple sheets in case my back started peeling up and I ended up using one of them on my hand. I'm gonna take all my rings off so you can see. So this is what it looks like. It is a peony and it has little leaves that go down onto my middle finger and also a little bit on my pointer. It is a little dark as compared to the rest of my arm if you can see. Um, I thought it would lighten up a little bit more but I think these, I'm not sure if you can see, these little buds and stuff are just really, really dark in comparison. So I do think I will have to get a little bit of like touch-ups on my arm just to make it match a little better. But that is not until way in the future because A, I don't have the money for that and B, I don't live in the same state as my artist anymore. So that would be kind of a hike to get down there. So I don't really mind it that much. It is a little dark um, that didn't lighten up too much, but otherwise it healed perfectly. I'm just going to pop up some photos here as I talk about the stages of healing. So I got it on January 11th. So obviously when I first got it, it was like a baseball mitt. It gets super, super inflamed and swollen and your hand is going to look massive. I tried to take some selfies with it when I first got it and it just looked literally ridiculous. It looked like I had a baseball mitt or something. Yeah, it looks pretty crazy for the first couple days. No pain though. I know a lot of people, um, in particular, Treacle Tats always talks about the blood rush and I've definitely had that before, um, but not with my hand for some reason. Um, that is usually when if you have your hand level or like up and then you put it down or vice versa, if it's down and you like bring it up, the blood can rush like to or from where your wound is because essentially a tattoo is an open wound. Um, and it could really cause some pain. I've had that, oh my gosh, I had knee surgery when I was in middle school and I had that exact sensation every single time I would stand up and it was literally the worst pain I've ever felt. So I understand that feeling. I didn't personally get it from my hand, but I have heard people get that before. The healing process was relatively easy. I really didn't get too, too much issues with it at all. I did leave the second skin, the recovery derm on for four days. The only reason why I didn't keep it on for longer is because the ends started peeling up. It's not an exact science when I put it on. I just cleaned it off really well, stuck it on, and then if there was in between my fingers, I would just like cut it and then stick it down on the side. So it wasn't a exact perfect science by any means and I didn't want any water to get underneath it because once it started peeling up, I would have to make sure it was super dry and no water was going to actually get underneath and to where the tattoo was because I didn't want to risk getting an infection or anything like that. So I did end up taking it off after four days 
So on January 15th was the first day I took it off. It looks super dark, really just like contrasty and beautiful. And oh, I love this picture so much. I got really excited the first time I saw this because not only was it not inflamed anymore and swollen, um, but I actually got to see it without the second skin over it. So that was super exciting. I think the swelling lasted for only about two days or so. It really wasn't that bad. Um, it went down pretty quickly and I didn't have any pain basically at all. I was super lucky with my healing. I feel like it wasn't too bad. The peeling started on the 16th. So one day after I actually took the second skin off, usually when I use the second skin on my back, I don't have any peeling really. It's just a little tender because it hasn't been exposed to air for a couple days, um, but it really doesn't peel. So I was a little surprised when it did, but I guess not, it was a lot of ink and I took it off early. So I did get a little bit of peeling starting on the 16th. And then the 17th, it got pretty bad. It just has that weird like black snow looking effect. Like you'll leave little flecks of gray everywhere you go because it'll just be flaking. So that was pretty ugly, but that is the worst that I got of the flaking was on January 17th. The hardest part for me to heal, I guess, would be the knuckle part here. This area had a really hard time with dryness and the flakiness. So while the rest of it was completely healed, basically like not healed, but it wasn't flaking anymore. Um, the rest of it was fine. It was my knuckles that kept getting the flakiness and the dryness. I had to keep putting concentrated like ointment on my knuckles just to hydrate it. And it makes sense. It's an area that you're constantly bending. So it's really hard to heal things that are not staying still. I have a picture here from the 24th. I was still having some dryness issues on my knuckles. But aside from that, it was perfect. And then a couple days later, my hand was all healed. And I say that very tentatively, this not means it's actually healed. It takes months for your tattoo to actually be healed. Um, but it was done flaking after that amount of time and it looked really nice. It looked like a finished tattoo. It didn't look all swollen and crazy and flaky like it does the first couple days. It took about two weeks for the entire process of getting it, having it swell, taking the recovery derm off and then dealing with the flakiness and that going away. So two weeks for it to look basically normal. And just a little FYI, when I have the recovery derm on, the second skin, I don't do anything to it besides try to keep it as dry as possible. So when I took showers, I really wasn't putting my hand under the, sh the stream at all. And then when I took it off, I would use um, unscented Aveeno. That is kind of my go-to lotion that I use for all my tattoos. It's really lightweight and it's not too like clumpy. If there was any particularly dry spots though, I would use some Aquaphor ointment just because that's really going to moisturize it. I didn't want Aquaphor all over my hand because it gets really sticky, um, which is why I like the Aveeno Unscented or you can use Lubriderm. I've used Lubriderm as well. Either of those is really nice to just hydrate it without it feeling super sticky. So I would just do that frequently throughout the day. And that is about it. I had a really simple healing process when it came to my hand. I was pleasantly surprised with the entire experience. Like I said in the beginning, I didn't have any problems with actually getting the tattoo. It didn't hurt too much, um, at least to me. It wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And then healing it was pretty easy as well. I just had the recovery derm and had a little bit of the scabbing, taking a total of like two weeks for it to look completely healed. So that was my experience getting a hand tattoo. Let me know if you've had a hand tattoo, if you've had a similar experience, because I've heard people either having a really good time healing it or completely opposite end of the spectrum. I've heard of like horror stories of people having the worst healing time when it comes to their hands. I think it just depends on the person, their ability to heal. I have a very strong immune system. My white blood cells are like kicking ass all the time. I almost never get sick, knock on wood. But I think it really benefited me in that I heal pretty well and pretty quickly. So that was just my personal experience. Let me know if you have any questions down below um, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.